Ah, this is what we got this time. A nice dash cam. I've already had this out of the box and I've already been out and shot a little bit of footage. I have, I've, I've put it in the car and I've gone and shot a little bit of footage so that we can see what the actual quality is like. But as far as this box goes, we've got a nice blue box. A little bit of damage on this one. They always seem to get damaged. They don't pack them very well in their, in their boxes when they transport them, do they? And then we've got uh, Sen Wow. I think that's who make it. Must be because it's on there. Sen Wow High Definition Dash Camera. Super Wide Angle, 1080p, Auto Circulate Recalled, apparently an LCD screen. So that's what we've got on there. There's nothing else on this box apart from that on the back. Very nice. So it's actually quite a nice camera. I was actually quite surprised. It, it come in a little bit of polythene and all that but I've already taken it off of that because I've been out there and I've had a go of it but we've got quite a nice camera it feels really good quality for the price um, by the way I'm gonna put the link to it in the description so you can go and have a look if you want to you might even want to get one I, th I thought I'd better have a look at it because these dash cams are all the rage now everyone's having a dash cam so I thought I'd better have a look at one well I've got three or four this one come with a memory card actually it come with it and it's a, a sand disk and it's a class 10 32 gig memory card so you get quite a decent memory card with it whether it's a genuine sand disk ultra is a different question but at least you get one with it a lot of them they don't come with a card and you have to buy one and then you end up spending the 30 or 40 quid extra I did leave the little lens protector on so when you see the footage you got to expect it's probably going to have a little bit of blur or something because I left the little lens protector on there and I forgot all about it. So I'll have a look at that camera in a bit more detail in a minute. But we got ourselves a little bit, a little bit of a wire here. <laughs> now you need this if you, if you haven't got a card reader to put the memory card in. You can connect the whole camera to your laptop or computer and uh, you know download your footage hello we've got turn on it's turned itself on we're on why has it turned itself on I better turn it and it's recording it thinks we're in a car and it thinks we're moving so see you later alligator there we go yep thank you that's the polythene that the little camera came in you get your your little sucker thing for the window as you would expect quite good quality, didn't fall off the window, stayed on the window and I went for a good drive up and down hills, up and down bumps and everywhere down my local roads and uh, very nice, didn't fall off, then you got your, your, you know, your main charger, a nice long lead so that you can run it all the way along your dashboard, uh, you know a lot of people like to do that, see I don't like, I w if I had a dash cam I wouldn't like to leave it if it wasn't a built-in one, I wouldn't like to leave it just sitting on the window there permanently because people would look and they'd nick it. If it's a built-in one, it's a different story, but if I had a dash cam, I'd be taking it in and out every time. That's the reason I don't have one, because I can't be bothered to keep taking it in and out, but there you go. You get these little sticky pads, um, so you can stick them to your dashboard and stick the wires um, in there. And you even get with it a micro SD 2.0 reader. Whether it works, I don't know because I haven't got the footage off my card yet to see what it's like so I don't know whether it works or not but you know it's probably one of those cheap Chinese ones because this whole camera is Chinese and then you've got a sticky pad and then you've got your instructions down in there as well so let's have a look while I put all this away you can go and have a look at some of the footage that I shot with the camera earlier on
Ah, now, while you were gone, I hope you enjoyed that footage. I, I haven't seen it at this point. I don't know what it's like at this point. You know, I probably should have checked it beforehand, but I didn't, so that's that. There we go. Anyway, let's uh, have a bit of a look at the, uh, the camera itself in a bit of detail. It's quite a nice camera. It's all made of metal. There's your little point where you put your thing in. So, yeah, it does it goes that way, hangs upside down. Yeah. Um, you've got a few buttons on the side, you've got OK, M, I think it's a padlock, and the on and off button. And the reset and the mic is there, because it does record sound, unlike some. The card is there, up and down, and that's the menu button. It's also got night vision, this camera, by the way. So that's what, that must be the night vision thing. Um, yeah, so let's turn it on and have a look and see what happens. Here we go, got a picture of a BMW, lovely. Oh, there we go, lovely job. That's uh, the, the background to my setting, lovely job. Anyway, I didn't bother setting any of the date and time or anything. Uh, I don't know, I was just lazy, didn't be bothered. Um, I, I just wanted, I was too excited to tell you the truth, I just wanted to go out there and see what it's like. And it's, uh, yeah, it's alright. So, as you would expect from trying Chinese things, it's a bit random, higgledy piggledy here and there. Um, but you press the old, uh, menu button and you've got uh, resolution and you press the OK button there yep, come on. and you can choose uh, your full HD you got your, your 1080p um, and you have got your 720p and then your VGA rubbish um, so we just oh what's happened here mm, press the wrong button oh it's recording go away will ya right there we go right Loop recording, exposure, you can choose how you want to record the audio, motion detection, it has got that, you can put a date stamp on it if you want to. I don't know what the old WDR is, I guess some of you will know. It's got a G sensor, so, you know, I suppose it detects whether you're moving or not. And, and park wake. I think that means parking wake means whether you'll park it, with your, if you parked it, uh, it'll wake up or something. Uh, so, how do we get over there then? Uh, uh. Um, I can't remember how you get. I can't remember how you get over there. How do I get over there then? I press that. Button. Ah, there we go. Press the menu button again, and then we go over there. And you can set the date and time. You can select whether you want the auto power off to go. You can select whether you want the beep. You can select your language. You can select the frequency of which it operates. You can select a screen saver. And lamp setting, what the hell is lamp setting? I haven't pressed on that one yet. What's lamp setting then? I don't know what lamp setting is. It's gone to. I don't know what lamp setting is, nothing's happened. Hmm. Alright. Fair enough. So, anyway, I don't know what lamp setting is, you just have to read the instructions if you care about that. Uh, that looks like that, that looks like that though, doesn't it? Don't know. Maybe it's a flash or something. Um, car plate. I don't know what that is either. Hmm. Go. No idea. <laughs> Looks like the battery's going to run out in a minute. Right, date and time. Right, so, yeah. That's all the settings you've got. Format, default setting, and the version is one. Lovely. So they're all the settings you... Oh, dear. They're all the settings that you've got. And, uh how do we get out of this thing? Oh, I've just recorded myself. Alright, can we go back? Can we go back? Then. Oh, there we go. Back to the usual screen. I can't complain. The battery's going to run out any minute now. So the big question. Would I recommend it? As far as quality goes, yes I would. It's flashing away. Look, there we go. As far as the quality goes, yes, I would recommend it. It's got good quality accessories, and the camera itself is good quality. As far as the footage that it takes goes, I don't know yet. Now, the reason I've done it like this is so that you can decide for yourselves. The footage that you saw that I took with this was completely... Well, it was at 10 o'clock in the morning, this morning, um, and it was raining, as you probably saw. But the footage itself was completely unedited, it was 100% raw footage taken from this. No colour correction, no nothing. It's been adjusted completely 100% raw footage. So, 
If you think that's good enough, and you go and have a look at the link for this, and you think that it's um, you know worth it, then very good, go and buy one. If you don't, then don't go and buy one. But you know, as far as it goes, I'd recommend it. I think it's all right. Sweet. <laughs>